What's up, everybody? It's me, Mopar Matt, coming to you from the studio, as usual. Um, it has been a crazy weekend. Um, I've been, I kept myself very busy doing um, some more s small car repairs with, with my little side business. Um, and as a result of that, I have a pretty decent sized haul. And I found some, I found me some goodies. Um, uh, Saturday night, I went out after a car repair, did some hunting. And then last night, um, after another car repair, me and, uh, Gogo Daddy went driving around. Hit up, hit up some spots that we haven't been going to in a, in, a, in a good long while. And man, did we, did we, we, did we make out good on that one. But to start the festivities, um, for my Saturday haul, um, I finished off the Mustang 5-pack variation. You can see the middle car there. This one is a plastic base with the non-opening hood. And this one is the metal base with the opening hood. As you can see from that angle too. So, got me that, that five pack variation. I'm gonna put those away along with my Ferrari five pack variation set. Um, another, another couple that I picked up on Saturday. Uh, was this uh, Flying Customs, the 57 T-Bird. One of the, one of the uh, few uh, T-Birds I'd ever want to own is, of course, the 57. Um, and then this one is uh, the Hot Ones, 76 Chevy Monza. I ain't going to lie, I'm, it's... it's Interesting looking, you know. I think they did a decent job on it. They could have done a little better, but that's just my opinion. Um, then, I picked me up something that I have seen on the store, on the pegs at this one store. The exact same car. Um, for at least four trips to this store when I couldn't couldn't afford to buy it. And Saturday, I had the money to buy it, so I picked it up. Um, and I, um, I don't know if you believe in destiny or whatnot or things being meant to be, but this is a case where I do because this is the exact same one I kept seeing on the pegs. Um, green light Dodge 100 year anniversary 68 Dodge Charger. There you go. And as is typical with green lights, nice front detail, nice rear details. And since you all know how I love my limited edition stuff, let me see if I can get this number 3386. Yep, was sitting on the pegs for at least a good month before I bought it. So, that's why I say it was destiny that I was meant to have that piece. Um, and at an, another store, found me another green light. Um, a, a, a much lower production number. Uh, green light special edition Country Roads. 71 Plymouth Barracuda. Check that, buddy. Yeah. course as I, like I just said as with all green lights some excellent detail workmanship here and the limited edition number on this is 0357 um, I also picked up a few wheel uh, wheel rider donors um, picked up a few um, regular wheel do um, donors um, so I'm not going to show those. Those have already been cracked and drilled and torn apart, all that good stuff. 
Um, so let me give me some room here real quick. Now, um, on to Sunday Night's Hall. Um, I'll show, I'll show this one first. I mean, I, I couldn't wait to crack this thing open. Um, from the Hot Rod, um, tractor trailer set series, you know, um, that come with the car. I found me this, um, black tractor trailer. This thing is B.A. to the bone. Had to snag me this as soon as I saw it. Looks like the door opens in the back. I'm not sure if it does or not, but it does, it does, it doesn't, it doesn't. Um, and it came with this red bone shaker. Sorry I couldn't crack this one live, but like I said, I, I, I just couldn't wait. I had to crack this one. Um, uh, let's see. Next, me and Gogo were at a, a stop and shop grocery store. And I found this hanging on a strip by one of the registers. So now I can add this one to the uh, for trade box. Um, and I also, yesterday, discovered this one in a Walmart. Um, uh, the Cool Classics from 2014. The only one I needed to complete my 2014s. The number 11 85 Honda CRX. So now my 2014s are done. Now I just need the six... Uh, white stripe ones from the 2013, and I will have every released cool classics. So I'm, I'm still pushing hard for that. I want to complete that set. Uh, the next piece, I've been seeing videos upon videos of people finding these things, and I had never seen them. And just like when uh, me and Gogo -Go happened upon that fresh dump bin and scored the four Corvette Supers, about an hour or so before I found this piece, I said to him, I had never seen blank at all in the wild. Um, well, about an hour later, I find this. Voila! Check that out. Let me get a nice close-up on this for you guys. Hmm. Oh boy. Nice. I am tempted. I am seriously tempted to crack this piece. Uh, because once again, as with all green lights, I show the numbers. Thirty come on. It's thirty-seven seventy-one. Um if I can find another one, whichever one has the highest production number, I'm going to crack, because I want to crack this one bad. But y'all know me, i got to have two of something before I crack it, except for certain occasions. And this, bar none, takes the cake. Um, we found this, and this next piece. In a Toys R Us, and I had seen videos of this car. Uh, the first one I saw was, I believe it was Diecast Chris. He had found one of these, and just chilling out on the pe store pegs that they had obviously been, excuse me, had obviously been gone through. Um, just chilling out in a Toys R Us, I find this. What? -a! That's right, the raw Shelby chase piece. Hey, <laughs> yeah. To quote James Shear, with the utmost of respect, this is sick. And needless to say, this is not going to be getting cracked ever. My second raw chase piece. 
absolutely awesome. Got the front. Got the back. Yeah, baby. <laughs> yeah. Um. Yeah, man. Um. So yeah, it has been an awesome weekend for me. Um. Uh, what you call it? Uh. So yeah, that, that's pretty much it, guys. There's not a whole lot else I have going on. Um. Oh, I do have some, I do have an update for the display rack that's going to be going right around that area. Um, I'm going to start getting it hung. I have all the strings, um, pretty much ready to hang stuff. After a lot of deciding how to f configure things, um. So, I'm going to start getting that rack hung, and I hope to have it up within the next two to maybe three videos, because I do have a lot of things I now have to refine. Um, but that's going to be coming along soon. Um, other than that, um, I've come up with an idea for... Uh, with the uh, cars up for sale um, I'm going to do some calculating after um, someone has shown some interest in purchasing a few of the cars and what I'm going to do is one big bundle one big package it's probably going to be like a hundred cars and, or a hundred or maybe just a little more cars in one big package deal um, with no duplicates in it. Um, if, if that's what you might want to do. So I just got to take care of that in a little bit. But yeah, guys, uh, that's it for me. Uh, so as always, this is me. Mopar Matt coming to you from the studio. I hope y'all enjoyed the video. I got some stuff to do around the house I got to get to, but I had to film this video real quick. So I will see all of you later. All right. Bye.